everyone, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swish Review of Amazon. Guess what? Amazon's gapping down. I predicted it to gap up, but it didn't gap down. This is why if you do an option trade, you need to only risk the amount of money you're willing to lose. And also, if you're up in the trade, you need to take some off. What, what did I do with this? Actually, let me just pull up the jiggy from today. I'm going to have to find it. Gonna show you the amount of money I was up in this today. I didn't get out of the whole thing. I absolutely did not get out of the whole thing because I thought that it would gap up. And 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 I know this is crazy. You're you're gonna think I'm nutty, but I actually thought I was gonna make a hundred thousand dollars in this, and I'll, and I'll tell you why in a minute. I thought that Amazon was gonna gap up, so the strike price of the calls that I had was six eighty two fifty. It didn't do it. It expires tomorrow. I will not make money in the rest of what I have with this. But today I was up in the morning in this trade. A lot of money. More money than I've ever been up in any day in one life in my trading account. And I thought I have to get out of some of this. So I sold five contracts. I sold five contracts whatever time that was this morning. Okay. My average price was 177 And I thought that was the right thing to do because I basically reduced my risk. And then I thought, you know what? We'll just see what happens. As the day went on, the stock kept rallying. You can't see this here. Well, you can. You can see the high today was 638. That was a crazy number. My target for today was 625, 620, 625. It went up. It went up almost 20 points, 18 points over. Dream target today was 640. It almost got to the dream target. And so it was the, the option chain was 10 something, 10 something of the chain that I was in and I had I had left then 1500 shares equivalent of 15 crowns contracts I was up so much money I was up over twelve thousand dollars in this trade after I got out of the five I said this is insanity and I still really believed it would gap up whatever whatever the whatever the report said the report was not as expected of the profit that they had that the street thought but, but this company is still amazing. There's there's nothing wrong with it, okay? But in reference to the options then, I was up so much money, I decided to get out of half of the rest of the position after I got out of the five. So then I got out of the rest of the half of the position that I had of the 15. And I will tell you that the rest is going to lose. It doesn't matter. I I made a lot of money in this. Could I have gotten out of the whole thing? Let me just see here. If I got out of the whole thing, if I had gotten out of the whole thing, I would have made 13000 The long and short of it is I left five grand on the table. I, I, I left five grand on the table, but I still made over $7,000 today. I know that, that that may not make any sense, but I, I ended up leaving about $5,000, give or take 1000 on the table. But it was worth it to see if it went to the crazy, crazy, crazy number that I thought it was going to go to, which was over 700. So what are you going to do? I mean, you take a chance, but at, at some point, then you're up so much money, you say, I have to do something. And I told the room today, get out of half this, get out of half of it, get out of half of it. And I told the room in the morning, and in the morning, I got out of five after the room. And then I and then I, and then I was doing other things, and I was writing my webinar, and I just kept watching it, watching it, watching it, watching it. And it was like, it was crazy. So I had the biggest day, trading day today of my life of the profit. And I hope the room listened to me. Some people I think completely sold out of it because people emailed me after the fact. And I don't think anyone held the whole thing. But this was a great call. Why? We took the trade at the perfect time. My cost average price was 1.77. And it ran up to over 10. I mean, this was amazing. So what are you going to do? Where can you make nine hours in something? Nowhere unless you're in my trading room and take my class. So this is a great call. I will tell you that part of me is like sad though, because I I really thought I I really should really take a mental check because I I honestly am like sort of sad tonight. A glass of wine has helped me, but I thought I was gonna make $100,000 in this. I'm not, I'm not even kidding to you. I thought I was gonna make $100,000 in this. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought this was gonna gap up 100 points or something to 750. I thought there was a chance it could happen. And I, and I, and I honestly thought I was gonna make like $100,000 in this. 
So I, I did make the really good money in this. It was amazing money. I mean, I'm not complaining at all, but I got to be honest with you. I seriously thought I was going to make like $100,000 in this. I didn't. I didn't, but I did make money on it. And the rest is of it that I have left is not going to work. I mean, I guess there's a chance this could open tomorrow in Raleigh, but the only way that happens, <sighs> the only way that happens, <laughs> that's interesting, it's not, this is not having that much effect on the market, actually. Let me just look here. The only way that that happens, that the rest of it, I could get out with money, is if it would, have to do let me just look here Google's not being affected by this as much that is actually really good because I'm still in the Google's 730 for this to be down 10 points or something is like nothing let me just look at Microsoft I don't know. I mean, I don't know what this says tomorrow. I have, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what this says tomorrow. The chances of it going to the strike price, though, are nothing. Do I think it falls on the day, though? I, I don't think it does. I think this rallies on the day tomorrow. I think it rallies on the gap down. But I, I don't I don't know, then, with my cost average price basis at 177 the option expiring tomorrow, if the rest of what I have is going to be okay. So I guess I'm going to find out in the morning. But this was an amazing call. Perfect timing, perfect entry, perfect price, and I was just up more money than I was ever up ever. To have two numbers in front of the comma is it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to anyone. And so then you say to yourself, I'm either going to get out of the whole thing or I've got to get out of half or I have to do something with myself. So I got out of five and then I got out of the other half and then I let some of it ride. I'm somewhat disappointed because I thought I would make $100,000 initially in this trade. I guess I guess after I got out of what I got out of towards the end of the day, I guess I I guess I realized that I wasn't going to make a hundred thousand dollars because I didn't have enough left to make a hundred thousand dollars unless it would have gone to something insane. But I will tell you that Google is out Monday night. I have two thousand shares of this, which is twenty contracts, and my strike price is eight hundred. I don't know, people. I mean, I, I don't know. This would have to go to, let me just figure something out here. I mean, this, this, despite Amazon's negativity, this doesn't look that bad. And Microsoft is good, and I think this rallies tomorrow. So at 825, I'd figured out the options would be worth 30 some dollars conservatively. So 30 times 2,000 shares would be $60,000. I, I'm, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm. We'll just see. We'll just see what this does between now and Monday. I. I don't know anymore. I mean, originally I thought a certain number with this, but now I I thought Amazon would do it too, and I will tell you if Amazon was gapping up tonight, then would this be? But it didn't. It didn't, and Amazon didn't do it. But Amazon could still rally in the day tomorrow. Here, here's in an ideal world based on this. Amazon holds the gap tomorrow, rallies, fills the gap, rallies on the live day. Google holds, rallies on the live day. Microsoft holds, rallies on the live day. I'm in this too with strike price that is going to put me in the money tomorrow too. But then this doesn't expire to February 5th. But anyways, when I'm dream targeting this is 60, not tomorrow, but in the next week. So in an ideal world, Amazon gaps down, holds the gap, rallies, gets bought. Google holds and rallies continues higher and microsoft rallies and continues higher too and then i don't even i don't even know i don't even know anymore it doesn't even matter i realize that you can't have you can't always get some huge number but you can make a lot of money i mean you can make a ton of money you can take and make a ton of money doing what i'm doing a ton we have to be more realistic with our expectations, I guess. I did the right thing today. Hopefully, you did the right thing, too. <laughs> we'll have to see. I, I really think 825 is solid, and that would be $60,000 for me. It wouldn't be hundred grand. Amazon did not gap up. I would have made hundred grand in a week with them both, but that didn't happen. If Microsoft goes to 60, if I have the guts to hold it, which I don't know if I will, 
but that would be twelve thousand dollars for this i don't know we'll have to see i'll keep doing updates on them have a great night everyone and congratulations for everybody that did do this and we were up some crazy 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 amount of money today so i will talk to everybody later the golden gap class is is this weekend if you want to do it you, you got to sign up by tomorrow and i don't know when i'm doing the next class i'm tired everything is beautiful in the planet with trading so i don't know you know have a great night everyone email me at melissa at the stock if you want more information if you want to sign up for the class tomorrow